guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Fish Academy. It's your humble friend Kufre Francis, and today I come uh, again with another interesting topic uh, on how to treat your fish. You know, once you know how to treat your fish, then you you certainly you know that part of the major problem is solved in your farm. And uh, a lot of farms have challenges treating their fish, especially when they have. Uh, rot fin, when they have bloating stomach, when they have these, and also some most farms cannot even grow fry, they can't tr uh, treat their fry, they can't do this, they can't do that, and most people depend on uh, a pharmaceutical uh, uh, shops in order to treat their fish. But today we are going to discuss how you can treat your fish without even going to any pharmaceutical shop to get uh, drugs. You know, using what is in my hand here, bit a leaf. You know, and this has been uh, so effective that has worked for a lot of people. It has worked for a lot of farmers. Those farmers that have seen me use this in my video before, always call and testify that they get to know about my channel and then started following me after watching this uh, that that video on how to treat your uh, how to treat fish using bit a leaf. But that video wasn't that very clear, but today I'm going to make it very snappy so that you can watch it to the end. Not just here, after now, after the whole preparation, after the whole preparation, I'm going to take you down to the farm and then you see how to apply, how to apply this to your fish and then how long you should, uh, that should be left inside the fish tank. So with me again is bitter leaf. And I have other things that are going to be added up and on then in order for us to have a good uh, uh, solution for fish uh, treatment. So, okay. So what I want to do now, um, as I said, immediately after now I'm going to go to the farm. So what I need to do now is that I'm going to use my blender. Also have with me a bowl of water all right these are some of uh, what i'm going to use uh, for this job you know so this so this uh, bitter leaf is a plant that should be grown around your farm for those of you that have space you can grow this in your farm and if you don't have space in your farm you can actually get this in the market can actually get this in the market not the one that have been watched already not the one that have been washed put inside bowl that is ready for ready for use i mean in terms of pots uh, no not that particular one but this fresh uh, bitter leaf is something that you should always have in your farm or you should always buy them and then i'm going to tell uh, tell you more about it when we get to the farm but for now i'm going this is how you make it you try to ensure you cut the leaf from the stem you pluck the leaf you know most of you when i said trying to grow your fish in organic way using organic uh, material such as this you know um most uh, countries have at, uh, somehow not decide to get fish from some other, some from other countries because of how fish is being grown in those area. You know what you grow, what actually you put is whatever you grow in your farm. What whenever anybody takes it, anyhow you grow your livestock, then that is how you are also growing human being. You know. Uh, imagine growing uh, your fish with chemical. A lot of people in the you see on uh, on social media are saying use this chemical, use this chemical, use this chemical. Those chemical are uh, uh, some of those chemical have even wrecked some farms to the point that when they apply it into their ponds, you you find out that all the fish die off, and then people come out complaining about some particular product. So please. I still beg you again, um, when you are growing your fish, stop growing your fish 
uh, with chemical. There is no fast way to growing fish. Don't be deceived. There is no fast way to growing fish. The fastest way to grow your fish is for you to ensure that your water at all times is clean. Good water, good food. When, you, when, I, when I'm talking about good water, your water can be clean and at the same time, it's not good. So you might say, ah, my water is always clear. I always change my water. I change my water every day, you know, uh, you know. So doing that alone, that your water is clean, does not mean that your water is good. That's why the other day we talked about, uh, I'm, I'm not going to watch this. The other day I talked about uh, um, the, the water uh, 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 testing kit and all that. And also your water can be somehow cloudy and it's okay. So you just need to ensure that your water is being tested regularly. A lot of people um, cost disease, uh, 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 cause the, the outbreak in their farm because automatically I want to let you know that um, when you, uh, especially uh, most people uh, tend to cause this disease outbreak in their farm. Number one, when you uh, you, you, you don't change your water as when it ought to be when you leave your water and it's very very dirty you know before you know your fish get inf infected and then they begin to have a fin rot they begin to have uh, some other diseases and you know those diseases are transferable communicable uh, disease inside the water it passes from one fish to the other however you can still prevent all those diseases using this okay so uh treatment of fish using bitter leaf and uh, its application yeah um most people have called me in time past and then as i said earlier appreciating me for revealing most of all that we, uh, you need to do as to succeed as a fish farmer and then i i'm always very very happy you know the other the other day um someone called me and said ah francis thank you very much your reward is in heaven you know yeah everybody needs a reward in heaven you know most people also need rewards on earth you know you know so what we try to do is to ensure that without looking whether anybody rewards us i want to tell you that so far um this is it fish treatment so how am i going to do this I'll get this now and then drop water into uh, the blender and then watch what I'm going to do now you you can you may decide to slice this bitter leaf first before uh, putting them in here or you can only just put them like that So you cover it. So it's covered. Then it's time to blend. Okay, so just finish uh, blending uh, the leaf and then I'm going to do the same thing to all these uh, but after now so as I said it's not just preparing the smooth uh, bitter leaf uh, solution you know it's also the application how do you apply this in your pond how do you apply this in your archery how do you apply this uh, your uh, fingerlings or juvenile or grow up on that is what we are going to do now so stay tuned as we move over to the farm for application so but before now before we move down to the farm to apply this we have to turn this into some regular uh, some uh, empty uh, plastic uh, 
portal which I have with me. Okay, most people do call. Yes, yeah, see how long, but when we get to the farm, we're going to discuss that part. So, you just need to stay tuned. So, this is it. Wow, it's so smooth, so smooth, and then it's easier to blend you than washing with your hand. It's very, very easy that I, I do like blending. All right, okay. the leaf is dissolved you know so this does it is it's gonna settle once it's settled you're gonna see it very very uh, green dissolved they, there is no dissolved so what it is now is that you don't even need you don't need your sieve when you are taking it down to the water you don't need your sieve to do any filtration it's just for you to uh, pour it into the water. All right, we have this. And I said, let's move over to application. So, uh, in case you've not uh, yet uh, subscribed to this channel, uh, all you need to do is for you to ensure you hit the subscribe button. And once you hit on the subscribe button, and so endeavor to turn on the notification bell. This is in order for you to be notified whenever we bring you video because we have a lot of videos, a lot of interesting videos that we are going to be bringing to you on board uh, on this channel. On this channel, we have over 300 videos and if you've not watched most of them, then you need to go back, scroll and then watch at most, only the videos that interest you. Okay, so, alright, so we'll move over to the farm. Okay, so uh, we are right away in the ashery uh, for application of uh, the bitter leaf. Okay, so these are our fries, five five day old. These are five day old uh, fry, right in our ashery. You know, a lot of people have been asking question. Can I actually do this for fry? And I said yes. So I'm going to show how we apply this for our fry okay so this is it this is the first our first ashri pond here is the second one still filled with fry as you can see here is the third one here is the third one filled with fry as you can see and then here is another one still with fry these are smaller ones anyway this one yeah this this one's that uh, uh four day uh, four days old yeah okay so the application as i said so first of all we're going to dissolve this into this water so we're going to turn that into this bucket of water yeah, just turn it. It's thick. Okay. Okay. We take another one and we do the same.
Okay. So, so what next we need to do is to ensure we stir, we stir it carefully to dissolve it. So this is now the uh, the bitter leaf. You can see how concentrated it, it, it is. So we have to dissolve it, bringing it to the farm. So we are going to put into each of the ashri model uh, the application, as I said. So as I said. Has been fully stirred, and then we're gonna put for the fry. Even while we're doing our flow tree, we. Do the same thing for this. The same thing. For this model, <laughs> we've just finished applying, we just finished applying the bitter leaf into the ashri. Uh, we're gonna leave it for it to be clear before we do the first feeding for the day okay this is it treating of fry using bitter leaf you can do this for your fry you can do this for your fingerlings you can do this for your juvenile you can do this for your bigger fish okay okay so once you do this, uh, certainly the health of your fish in your farm will never remain the same. You don't need to wait until your fish are dying before you do this. You can apply this even twice or once in a week or once in two weeks. Prevention, even for fish, is still better than kill. Right. So Thank you very much for watching.